Byland is a Seattle-based Albuquerque-raised singer-songwriter whose music invokes such emotion with every note that you can't help but walk away feeling something. Tonight, we're glad to have Allie Byland talk about her career, the band's new single, and coming home to perform on Bands of Enchantment. Yeah, and thank you again for taking the time out to, to talk with me before your performance with uh, uh, Bands of Enchantment. So I actually wanted to start with how your career began. How, where did the drive to um, start in music come from? I've been playing music for basically my whole life. And um, I, I moved to Seattle in 2008 um, when I was 18. <laughs> and I, there's, it's the city of music there. And I had a lot of experience growing up before I moved there. My my dad was a pastor of a church in the inner city of Albuquerque, and I got to play music. Um, I was a like a a group worshiper at our church for basically since I was twelve. So I've just played music in a lot of different avenues. And when I moved to Seattle, I met my partner, and we started writing music together. And we started Byland, and we recorded our first record in our closet, <laughs> and then. Uh, we met our producer, Nate um, Yasino, who's in Ballard up there, and we've been making music and recording at his studio for uh, two records now. So yeah, and the band that we have, I've, I've, I moved to New Mexico. I convinced my partner finally to move back to New Mexico, my hometown, <laughs> um, in, in 2020. And uh, we were here for a couple of years, and it was a beautiful, very... Uh, it was tough in some ways and so so healing and really beautiful in other ways to be here during that time. Uh, we got to play with a band here in New Mexico full of all of my best friends. <laughs> so when we moved back up to Seattle, it was very sad to to leave to leave them. And we have a we have a band up there now that we're touring with. So there's a little snapshot. <laughs> so I just wanted to take a step back to when yeah. you were in Albuquerque. How long was your time here? Um, and just how did it if how did it influence your music? I mean, there's a lot of music in New Mexico, a lot of cultural music, and um, a lot of that is so inspiring to be around. Even just walking around an old town, you hear you hear music everywhere. It's a part of our culture. It's a part of our city. And um, I, I grew up around that. And I, I grew up in the inner city. And there's um, music was kind of a, a way to to express what I was going through, you know, being in, being in that neighborhood and growing up, growing up around a lot of heartache and, and beauty. <laughs> Music is a, an incredible way to process through all of that. So it's always been a, a good friend to me. Your sound is really haunting. I was just listening <laughs> to all things Albuquerque this morning and I, I came to tears. There were tears like streaming, like not all, it was like the absolute love letter to this town so i can tell yeah. how much it affected you your, Thank your you. sound is so different from anybody that i've heard i mean do you did you have um inspired people that inspired you um during your process of uh creating your sound um and if you did who were they i grew up listening to bob dylan and johnny cash and keith green and all the all the folk lords <laughs> and yeah, um, <laughs> yeah a lot of them influenced like a lot of our songs lyrically I would say and um, as far as musicality wise I love this band Manchester Orchestra they play songs that aren't in 4-4 they play songs that are you know they change keys in the middle of a song and I love I love creating music that can catch people off you know catch them off guard a little bit cause them to lean in and um surprise you a little bit so it's 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 a really fun for me to make music like that and it's it's what I've been making for a while now so I think I'm glad you like it <laughs> yeah so it's a beautiful song but well, let's talk about your new single which actually inspired this tour can you tell us a little bit more about that absolutely um this song is is basically a it's not quite a love letter um but it's it's dedicated to my best friend who I grew up with. We played music. She's the first person I ever wrote a song with. And leaving her when we moved back to Seattle in 2022 was uh, one of the most difficult goodbyes. It was saying goodbye to kind of a lifelong dream that we had always dreamed of. We thought we would tour the world together and we thought we would be playing music together. And when it came down to it, um, I had to move and, and she stayed. And 
the song is is dedicated to her and actually it's so wonderful i just got to see her play with her band at um meow wolf last night so we're we're both on our journey and we can support each other from afar and it's funny that the song is called monstera because when I moved uh, to New Mexico in 2020, I had this monstera plant that only had two leaves on it. And when we moved back to Seattle, it had seven leaves on it. So it grew five leaves while we were here. And <laughs> actually funny enough, when we moved back to Seattle, it uh, all my plants died, oh, and, including, <laughs> that one, <laughs> including that one. But it's, it's sort of a reminder that even though, you know, if something dies, it, it still matters that I lived and- yep. Yeah, so the song is dedicated to her. So how does it feel to be back home playing for Bands of Enchantment and their third season? I mean, I'm absolutely honored to be a part of this uh, lineup. There's so many lo like beautiful local acts that I've, I actually had never even heard of. Like there's some that I have, some that I haven't. So it's a discovery process for me. And and also just it feels it feels very, uh, very healing every time I come home. I it's where I grew up. It's beautiful to see all my friends and all my family and, and the place that it has become is so beautiful to me. So where can people learn more about you, your music and this upcoming tour? Yeah, we're, I think we're mostly active on Instagram, the, you know, the, the internet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're, we keep that updated mostly. And we have Facebook, uh, our band name is by land, not by sea, but by land. Uh, it's it's my and my my husband's last name. So um, yeah, we're on Instagram, Byland Music. And I think everywhere else we're Byland Music. Our website is bylandmusic.com. That's where you can find us. Well, Allie, thank you so much for joining me today and taking the time out and absolutely looking forward to your performance. Thank you so much. I'm very much looking forward to playing in my hometown. <laughs>